Hello Walking Dead fans, this is Solid Dave Snake, and today I'm bringing you a review on one of this year's San Diego Comic Con exclusives, and also one of the Skybound exclusives, and it is of Ezekiel from the Walking Dead McFarlane comic series action figures. And every year for the past three years we've been getting one of these Skybound exclusives for the San Diego Comic Cons. And we had Michonne the first year, then Riot Gear Governor, and now Ezekiel. And also, over Christmas time, we had Negan for that Black Friday sale. So, I really like these Skybound exclusives that they've been doing. I love the whole packaging with them, with the comic book art. I think it's really nice. And I uh, hope they do another one for this uh, Christmas. But, we'll just get right into the figure. And one thing that I find kind of odd that I would have always thought they would have done with Ezekiel is in the comic book, you'll know he has a big tiger, uh, Sheva, and I thought it would have always been a good opportunity with the action figures to have him kind of a deluxe set with the tiger. So I found it kind of weird that they use him for an exclusive. But I am happy that they did it because it's nice to get a Ezekiel figure and really you could just get a Tiger figure anywhere to throw beside them at Toys R Us and uh, there's little, oh, I forget what they're called, but they're uh, little stationary animals. They have all kinds. Uh, one of those Tigers would go perfect with them. And Ezekiel is an exact likeness to how he first appeared in the comic book in issue 108. And I'll just pull that right over, give you a look at what this design was based off of. And he is a perfect, perfect representation of it. Just doesn't have the tiger, as I said. And, oh, this uh, also came in two versions, just like the Negan. Uh, one came in full color and the other black and white. And before I go over the figure, I'll actually show you this in a little more detail because I don't open my black and white figures. Bloody black and white. And the blood splatter is really nice on this. It's on his accessory as well. And I'll just show you the back of the packaging while I'm at it. It has that picture from the cover of 108. And it's basically just like the other exclusives advertising the comics on the back. So, really nice packaging, but to go over Ezekiel himself, take a look at his face up close, and that is just a great sculpt. That looks perfect. Looks exactly like how he looked in the comics. Even more detail. And the white on his beard and hair is really nice because it's got a little bit of a um, gray dry brushing effect in there and actually has little individual beads and in parts of his dreads just like in the comics and these dreads are real pliable plastic by the way even more so than the coat he's wearing and this back piece is actually another individual piece that connects into the hair there. So it gives it a really nice uh, dimension to it, popping out. More of the beads on this side. And if you can see, he's got blue feathers, just like in the cover on his hair, which are colored really nice. So his dreads turned out great. And he's got really nice detail here on the necklace. They're colored really nice to how they look on the cover. And that shirt he wears that has the stars all over it. They actually made these shirts that were San Diego Comic Con exclusives as well. They were selling them there. Now that's not something I'd be interested in getting. His coat is pliable too, not as pliable as the hair, but it doesn't really need to be. I mean, you're not going to be taking it off. Wouldn't match with the arms anyways. Nice detail on his gloves. The 
His pants are pretty basic. And his boots are nice. They have a good mud effect on them. Make them look all dirty. Coat's pretty basic. It's got pockets there. Stitching running down the back. Great sculpt all around, though. Really happy with the way this Ezekiel turned out. And the single accessory he comes with is that cane he always uses. And there's nothing too special to go over with it. Uh, nice indentations down here at the end. And of course that eagle on the top. But paint-wise, you know, it's just a basic gold. But the neatest thing about it is it unsheaves to reveal a sword. Just like when he was sparring with Michonne in the comics. So that's really cool. Doesn't come with many accessories, just that one, but it's really all he needs. It's really the only thing he, he's uh, used in the comics. Besides Sheva, of course. And uh, articulation-wise, he has a ball joint at the head, which will look that far down, that far up, and rotate all the way around. But with his dreads, you know, you don't really want to, to mess him up. And he has a ball joint and hinge here at the shoulders, which will go that far up and all the way around. And a ball hinge here at the elbows. We'll go that far up and back straight and rotate all the way around. At the wrist, he has that ball joint and hinge, which will rotate all the way around. And doesn't really go in and out too much with the hinge because it's restricted from the coat. And to be honest, I can't tell you if he has a waist swivel or not because I've tried twisting it and it's so tight if it's there. But even if it is there, you really don't need it with the way the coat is and everything. And he also does not have that updated uh, articulation like Daryl has here at the hips. Uh, all the next comic series coming out is going to have it in the next TV series. But he does not have it. And all in all, I'm really not too disappointed about that. This figure really doesn't need that option so really not upset about that so all he has is that ball joint there at the hips and really to be honest I mean I'm probably never going to be displaying them besides sitting or uh, standing straight up so that's fine with me and he has that ball joint and hinge at the knee which will go back pretty further back than this but it's restricted from the coat so you don't really need it to and he has a cut here at the upper boot which will rotate all the way around so articulation wise nothing special but really doesn't need it so all in all this is a uh, really cool figure and a great addition to your Walking Dead comic book figures um, if you're a fan of the comic books this is probably a definite pickup for you but if you're just a fan of the show I could understand you not getting this so Thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned. I have another San Diego Comic-Con exclusive uh, review coming up shortly. So stay tuned for that, guys. Thanks.